Welcome back to the Calm Tower. Time to go up. This is a really dangerous lift. <laughs> uh, Selfie would, if anyone would fall off of a lift like that, it, it, I think it would be Selfie. Major Biggs, there's been a report of a monster shaped shadow on top of the tower. This goes like this and geez, what's with these crappy old tools? Why do I have to make all the repairs anyway? Ah! Sir, I checked around the repairs while the repairs are being done. Or will check around, I suppose. This goes here and... There! It's complete! Where the heck did Cypher, Cypher go? We seem to have completely lost him. Ooh, cool. Like seriously, doesn't this just look the coolest? This game came out in like 1998, I want to say, maybe 99. Uh... Heck of a difference between this and Final Fantasy VII, that's for sure. At least in terms of the visuals. Although, I still really love the map painting backgrounds from Final Fantasy VII. They have not really aged great. Like, those things are not HD. <laughs> Likewise, mister, what do you think you're doing? Hey, what, what, what happened to all the soldiers down below? Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, I seem to be done here, so I'll just be on my... I'm leaving. Move it. Oh, hey there, Sai. How did we... How? How did he get behind us? Ah, uh, just don't worry about it. So, aha! I can draw a Suna from this guy. Which, I will with Selfie, but I, frankly, I'm not going to bother with Squall or Zell. Zell. Asuna's okay, but we'll get other opportunities to draw it from enemies that are, well, well actually, it's not really the, the enemies themselves that'll make it easier. It's the fact that we'll have more characters with, we'll have higher magic stats. Let's put it that way. <laughs> like... Yeah. Oh hey! It's Biggs! No, wait, Wedge! Biggs is the red one. <laughs> Now, does... Does the blue one have anything new? I'm not sure. I think he has Cure. Yeah, Cure. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep drawing a Suna. Because it's harder to get than Cure. Like, not much harder to get, if we're being honest, but it's a, it is rare. All the same.
Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was waiting for. The true boss! On top of the comm tower! Now that the comic relief is gone, it's time to fight a monster! So there's a couple of really important things here. First of all, is this thing. This, as the achievement tells you, is a GF. Make sure you get it. You will cry if you don't. Second important thing. I can draw this from this one. This is, of course, double. You don't actually know what that does. Uh, it lets me cast two spells instead of one, basically. But more importantly, it is a reasonably good for junctioning. Uh, not so good is that this boss here has crazy high magic defense. It is frankly not worth it to tr even try to draw from this thing with Zell. Big Zell will always fucking screw it up. It's not even really worth trying to max out it, max it out with Squall. But I do want to have one stack of 100 doubles. So the battle plan here is quite simple. I'm going to be drawing a whole lot with Selfie. And I'm not going to kill it until Selfie's done drawing double. Meanwhile, I'll be hitting it with Zell, and Squall will probably be doing, well, more or less what he's doing right now. And I want- and I'm- I'm, like, really serious about don't even try to do this with the other two. I have done this battle before where I've tried to get double- a hundred double stacks on, uh, uh-oh. My controller has flown the coop, as it were. Oh, okay. Uh, what was I saying now? Right. Uh, I've done this battle before where I was trying to get... What? 300 stacks of double? And it takes literally, like, 45 minutes to an hour for Zell to get 100. Uh, so let's use his limit break. It's kind of cool. Uh, is that right? Ah oh, man, I didn't even know. I screwed it up because I couldn't see what the damn buttons were. Six and three, what the hell does that mean? Man. <laughs> Zell's- I'm not gonna be able to do justice to Zell's limit break on the PC, I don't think. Uh, oh well. Let's try that again, just because I want to show it off some more. Okay, so it was probably like this. Nope, that was also wrong, it seems. Uh... But yeah, so, as I was saying, don't even try to get three stacks of double it's not worth the time investment. Double is a good spell for junctioning, but it's not that good. There are better spells, and there are enough better spells. That is just not freaking worth it. <laughs> okay, we'll try this one more time. Okay, I'm at least managing to combo- uh, is that- nope. Well, that was wrong. Man, I just don't freaking know! <laughs> ah. Fortunately, my preferred strategy is not relying on Zell's Limit Break. I like using Squall's Limit Break, and I like using the Limit Breaks of some other- actually- 
Genuinely, Zell's Limit Break is probably my least favorite one. It is powerful, it's just, I just don't like it. Yeah, like you can see now, Zelfie, Zelfie's, um, draw amount has dropped down from what it was before. She's getting twos and threes now, where before she was getting fives and sixes. Right now, Zell would probably be, well, actually, let's, you know what, you heal Zelfie, save Squall a little bit of trouble, but I have seen Zell, in particular, actually completely failed to draw anything from Ifrit. And this is the only battle in the whole damn game I've ever seen that, so that should sort of tell you something. Oh, right. It's not broken, I'm just in the wrong menu. Eight, that's more like it. Of course, there is also a luck factor, so... But... Having not... Having seen no actual definitive proof, my anecdotal ev My anecdotal opinion is that usually the first couple times you draw from an enemy, you get a lot more spells. Oh, you know what? I just realized... I'm not prepared for the part after this! Which is good, which is important, because... Uh, well, you'll see. Hmm. Right. Incidentally, this jerk has between 1,500 and 3,000 HP. Depending on what level you are. Usually it'll be a lot closer to the bottom end of that spectrum than the top end. But genuinely, any boss that you can draw a cure from is usually not very hard. Like, actually, Zell might kill it before I finish drawing double. And I mean, if that happens, then it happens, it's not the end of the world. I do still... I mean, sure. Let's just do this. Yeah, draw failed, right there. I have never seen that happen on any other battle, except for this one. But it's because it has so high magic defense, and yours is... And your magic attack is usually pretty bad uh, in this fight. Selfie's next. And like, when I think of Final Fantasy VIII, if I think of things that discourage me from playing it, honestly, this fight is the is the one. Oh hey, I'm done. Awesome. Now Selfie can go on cure duty, and you assholes can finish it off. Uh, because like after this fight, the draw. Drawing can feel like a bit of a drag, the way it, so it sort of works. 
Mostly if you don't really know what you're doing, though. But the way I usually play through the game, this fight is like the last one, usually, where it actually feels like a drag. Because after this, I can do it like really quickly. And also, frankly, I'm usually, if I put the time investment into something, it's because I'm getting a lot spells that are a whole lot cooler. Um. Because double, double is not that cool, frankly. It's useful, but it's not cool. But, man, just this guy. And it's dead! Okay, that wasn't so bad. That took around 10 minutes. We got elixirs, we got a weapons magazine, we got a lot of AP, and we got Siren. B-Squad Captain, excuse me, I have new orders. All seed members and seed candidates are to withdraw at 1900 hours. Assemble at the shore. Withdraw, there are still enemies around. I know, but I'm just a messenger. Yep. Only 30 minutes! Okay, we're actually graded on how long it takes us to get down to the shore as well. Uh, I'm probably not going to get the best grade, which is doing it in like three minutes. But, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do well enough. Uh, I am going to take a quick time here, because it goes, it counts when we're in menus, mind you, to do this so that I can equip that. Uh, I also want to go over to selfie to, let's see, no, uh, put dub slap double on there, and I want to go over to Zell here to slap Cure Works. Uh, I also need to give sleep to Squall here because Siren has this thing. Actually, this is literally useless on Squall. Squall, if you notice, has 255 accuracy. Even if he has darkness on him, he will literally never miss. Uh, now, Ifrit should be doing probably this. And Siren over here, I want to immediate. Well, Move Find is actually really useful. But I want her to immediately learn that one. Okay. Go down. And I took like two minutes, I took like 90 seconds to do that, so, <laughs> but it's worthwhile. Ooh, is it ever. Uh, and I am going to save here. Even though it cost me more time to do so. Now we're gonna GTFO. But first, we're fighting soldiers, it seems. Well, whatever. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> I actually might have benefited from putting, uh, from turning on active mode.
Like, the three minute I'm, mark, I'm pretty sure it's for the best score, but I genuinely don't think it's possible to do this in three minutes. So there's this thing. Remember when I made a big deal about getting all those lightning el elemental things? Well, here's the reason why. Uh, do you? I don't know what this is. You using quizzical. Oh, it's protect. Okay, well, I, I don't really have the time to use that, unfortunately. I was hoping I could draw lightning from you. Nope. Although I will say, I'm using quizzical now, but keep quizzical used to a minimum, because that animation, man. <laughs> First time we've seen it, actually. This is actually the one battle where boost might be worthwhile on. But... eh. Aha! Now remember when I said we get penalized for running away? Well, we cannot actually beat this thing. We get one free runaway, and that was it. And now it's gonna chase us! Uh, now it is actually possible to destroy it in one particular place, but not for us. You need to, like, grind like crazy to actually do that. Uh... So... You'll notice that I'm walking here. There's a reason. <laughs> this part right here. If we run, it will knock us off balance and catch us. So, you know... Don't run here. Okay, now we can run. Oh, uh, what? Fuck. I screwed up. Um... You know what, actually? <laughs> I'll be right back! Okay, and we're back. This is actually where you can fight it, incidentally. Or rather, where you can win against it. And you actually do get like a big bonus for beating it. But it's you need to grind a lot to actually do that. It's frankly not worth it. So make sure you save the dog. Otherwise you lose points. Uh, and coming up here, don't stop! You can also hide in there, I believe, but you lose a ton of points for doing that. So don't. Okay then! Uh, this is a really cool scene. Well, better run for it. I mean, maybe don't just stand there, Selfie. Spider tank is pretty fast. And teeter with a machine gun to the rescue. Narrowly. <laughs> Thank you. 
And we did it! And we should have actually gotten a pretty good rank. Uh, despite my incompetencies. Cypher! That was Raijin? No, Fujin. Raijin is the guy. Man, all they did was get in my way. Being a leader ain't easy. Well, to some more than others. <laughs> Perhaps. Where indeed? Just be back at the garden by sundown. You're free till then. Dismissed. And now we can t actually talk to people. Oh hey, actually, we picked up some stuff. Uh... Like this thing! Which, I mean, this is actually not really useful. Uh... Because we already have all these weapons. The this is the default weapon mag. <laughs> that is the mag with the default weapons in it. Uh, but... Basically, in this game, we get new weapons by sort of upgrading them and sort of crafting them uh, in stores. And you don't actually need the recipes to do that. As soon as you have the ingredients, you can do it, regardless of whether or not you have one of these things or not. But these magazines do tell you what the recipes are, and therefore let you plan ahead. And, well... Unless you're doing some sequence breaking, basically. And I could do that sequence breaking, but I'm not going to. Uh, you'll typically just be getting those weapons in the order that they appear in the magazines. Oh, well, there goes our ride. Now, I need to figure out how to do this, because there's an essential card game to play in this town, but I need to save. Because I am not confident in my ability to win. I think there's a save point in here. Aha! Damn it. Uh, however, looking at the time, uh, <laughs> this seems like a good place for me to stop. <laughs> So, join me next time when we play card games, and probably not, and, and frankly, we probably won't do a whole lot else. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Kiss Blue, and have a great day. Bye!